Welcome back. And um, we're still here talking about the Washington State and their new governor in the state, especially his certificate issue. What is going on in that place? Latif, you know I said something earlier that if you want to hide something from the black man, you keep it in a book. Yeah. This issue of certificate, I don't understand why it keeps on resurfacing. There are two judgments of courts in Nigeria saying that the governor is qualified to run for office. There's a high court judgment in Oshun State, and there's a court of appeal judgment. I will just summarize it briefly so that Nigerians can, can, can give this issue peace because the governor has been distracted by all these allegations. In the high court case in Oshun State, they went some, some, some fellows went to court to say that the governor was not qualified to run for office. He doesn't have a certificate. And when he went to court, the court held that there is evidence on record to show that he attended Muslim grammar school, Ede, mm. and that what the constitution says is that you must have been educated up to secondary school level. Mm. And that having gone to secondary school, having been educated up to this level, you don't have to present the certificate directly. So long as there's evidence to show you went to school, and the court held that it's qualified to contest. When, when did you write this, this um, EDA exam? You wrote an exam? In 1981. In 1981, when they now failed in the high court in Oshu State, they now ran to federal high, um, state high court, um, FCT high court in Abuja, and that one gave them a judgment. But when we appealed, in, in that same judgment, they invited INEC, they invited the WAIC, and they invited the principal of the secondary school. The WAIC, a deputy registrar from WAIC, came on oath. She was subpoenaed, and she said it on record that Demola Adeleke went to this school and he wrote to WAIC in 1981, and his name was published as part of the students. His even the exam number was there. The, prim the principal of the secondary school came on air, came to the court again, and said, yes, this guy went to this school, and this is, this is his, his testimonial of results that I signed it. And this is statement of results, his testimonial and statement of results. And the court of appeal held that the high court, you invited these guys, when you now give the judgment, you didn't rely on their results. Mm. You didn't rely on their report. That's wrong. And the court of appeal held that he was qualified to run for office, and the Court of Appeal set aside the FCT judgment. And in point of fact, the Court of Appeal in arriving at that judgment relied on Supreme Court decision in Kaki versus PDP, where the certificate of Governor Suvzuan was challenged that he gave false certificates. And the court said it there that once you are educated up to secondary school level, you don't necessarily need to present there's the certificate. That, but if you lie on and there's Bayo and Kabi. What do you if, say? If you lie on oath, won't that be a problem? When you say lie because, on oath. No, I mean, let me just land there. Because it, there's this issue of the Jacksonville University that he had claimed that he went to in America, and they even invited the director of public relations of the university, who, who said that he doesn't know Nurdin Adeleke. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing of this for the first time, but what I will tell you is that if you look at... Where did he go to university? No, we're, not, we're, not supposed, we're not supposed to be, I don't know, well, we can, these, are, these are issues, we're not, we're not discussing the case. But if you look at the response to the petition, yes. you will see that what he had said was that at some point he was in Jacksonville yes. in the past, then he transferred to where he finished currently from last right. year. So he, did ne he never said that he got a certificate from Jacksonville. Okay. But you know all these guys, a drowning man will always look for straws to hold on to. And they know how populists, they are gullible. Most people will not go and do finding or mm. go and check. So mm. in politics, they say, they can just come and say, Farouk has done this thing. They can just come and say this person, and before you know, the, the information will go viral. That's the way to keep your supporters together for them. So if they don't say all that, a lot of them have been decamping to PDP. So I believe that they are only coming up with all these stories and all these gimmicks to make their supporters remain with them and to give them hope that there's still a future, a bright future for them. So we understand the game, but the truth is that as far as we are concerned today, there's a court of appeal decision saying that he's qualified to run for office. And many events, if you want to challenge his qualification, the Electoral Act 2022 is very clear. Absolutely. From the date INEC declared his qualification, you have 14 days to challenge it. If you don't challenge within 14 yeah, we days... We can challenge it at the general election. You can't, well. you can't, you can't. In the 14 days is sacrosanct. What the Electoral Act says is that there are grounds for going to court to challenge a, an election. Yes. And one of the grounds is qualification. Absolutely. So if the tribunal holds that is not qualified, Absolutely. then perhaps. Absolutely. But you cannot... But in qualification, is different. You cannot come and challenge something that you have 14 days. So, I mean, we are in court on that argument. Mm. Let's not bring all our gunpowder yet because <laughs> we are about to open our defense in the couple, next couple yes, of days. Yes, yes. So, but in terms of the certificates, what Nigerians need to know is that there's a judgment of the High Court in Oshun State and there's a court of appeal judgment saying that it's qualified to run. And these judgments are backed up by two Supreme Court decisions. We have Kaki and PDP, and we have Bayo and Pabi. They are both, both Supreme Court cases. Yes, that's, that's yes. interesting. We will leave that for the courts to yes, determine that court, aspect. Yes, yes. But you spoke about hope. You know, what are the chances? Do you think that the, the, the Adele K victory will metamorphose into a victory for Atiku or PDP generally in Oshun State in the general elections? Next year, across board, assembly, um, senate, house of reps, 
You know, a lot of, and even the presidency. You know, the grandmasters of the game of politics, because we are still students of politics, they tell us that all politics is local. As far as the state is concerned now, the momentum is so strong that any election, PDP will come out tops. House of Assembly, House of Rep, Senate, Presidency. The momentum of Adeleke is so strong that nobody wants to be off that train. So you don't think that the, the momentum of the Ashiwaju with the Oritolas and the Aymeshalas all together can, can deliver victory for Ashwaju from that, in that If you can't deliver victory for yourself, can you deliver victory for you? You can't give what you don't have. You love yourself. If you are on a plane, they tell you that when the plane wants to crash or if it crashes, if you are with your child, the face mask, the mask you wear is first before you put it on your child. It's whoever that is alive that, that has saved himself that can save somebody. So mm -hmm. you that you've not healed yourself, you want to deliver for somebody else when you could not deliver for yourself. It doesn't make any sense. It goes, it's illogical. So you don't think that the, the fact that um, Ashwaju is a Yoruba man and Hoshun being probably the headquarters of the Yoruba, you know, having the EFS still there and being Yoruba themselves, they might have that sentiment towards voting for him rather than voting for Atiku from the Northeast. During his lifetime, Jesus Christ did not have the support of the whole world. Even Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where he was born in Mecca, he had to run away from Mecca at some point to come back to Mecca. Mm. And these are godly people. These are prophets, servants of God. Highly credible, 100% integrity. But with their integrity, everybody didn't follow them. So when you have the prophets, you have Jesus Christ, people didn't follow them. You're not saying because somebody is a Yoruba man, everybody will follow them. It's not possible. It doesn't you don't think that will have an effect? Well, I, I, well, I, don't, I can't speak for Lagos State. I can't speak for any other state. I'm, I'm, talking, about, I'm speak, talking about Osho State. In Osho State, it cannot have any effect. They won't have that bias for Ashwaju. Where Adeleke goes is where everybody is. Osho State is PDP state for now. The momentum, if you see the, if you see the inauguration, I was at the inauguration. The crowd was so massive. Oh, I wish the election was conducted on that day. <laughs> the crowd is massive. Now in Osho State, now the momentum is in favor of PDP. And you know, it's, if you look at the history of Osho State, it's a momentum game. When Oyinola left, like now we have just three members of the House of Assembly, PDP, out of about 25 or 26. So that momentum came then. Now the Adelike momentum will wipe out everything. Next dispensation, APC will not have one House of Assembly member in our states. What about senators? They will not have any. Even when we were opposition, we had a senator. Yeah. We had two House of we have, we but, have two but, House but, of Rep. But I, I, I believe that um, I think um, um, Suraj Dean. Yes. Bashir Sirajuddin yes. from, I think, Osho Central. It's from Osho Central, yes. And I, I think the governor is from Osho Central. Too. No, the governor is from Osho West. Osho West, okay. Yes. So you don't think that he'll be able to return? Osho, West, Osho Central, yes. we have a fantastic candidate there. Ajagula is a business, is a businessman, Harvard trained, cosmopolitan, urbane, suave. When you meet him, you'll fall in love with him. He's a solid candidate, and I expect him to win the election. Mm. I mean, I we won the election in the Central District during the governorship election. His campaign is massive. You can do your fact checking. You can do your investigation. He's matching SRJ pound for pound, billboard for billboard, poster for poster. So you think that, they will, that PDP was going to win all? all I'm all confident. Three. PDP in 2019, we had two hours of rep, one senator, three hours of assembly. That's because we were strong on ground. We've always been strong on ground. This time around, with what we have dealt with APC now, they will not have one single house of rep member or house of assembly member in Australia State. They would have confidence about that by the grace of God. I mean, I admire the confidence, but yes. I, I, I've ever had a situation whereby every office in the state was one party. Well, we've not had. Mm. But practically it's now, for everything. Well, we've not had. There's a first time. But I mean, we have just three hours of assembly members currently now. Yeah. And that's because we fought. Our firepower was strong. You know, I ran for yes. 2019. Yeah, I, 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 exactly. Our firepower was strong, but we didn't win. But this time around, people are hungry. People have suffered. Mm. People have suffered. Now you cannot come and deceive anybody. People are suffering in Osho State. There is no day we don't get phone calls. People are asking for money. It's terrible. And these are people that ordinarily they will never beg. The economy is bad. They cannot get fuel. They cannot get food to eat. Primary schools, they don't have teachers. No toilets. Some students don't have exercise book. We buy exercise book for students. They send some students out. To, we even employ teachers for some primary schools mm. in our local government. So people are suffering. So why do they want to repeat the suffering again? Democracy is all about if a government has not performed, send him away, bring another government. If that one does not perform, send him away, bring another one. By the time you send them away, anybody that comes there next time will say, I have to perform so that they don't give me the red card. Let me put on a spot a bit. Um, you know, in, PDP has a lot of internal ragings as well right now. Yes. National, national wise. There's the G5 governors who are having um, claims that they should remove you as the chairman and you're making so many um, claims here and there. Where does Adelike stand in all of this? Who does he align with? Adeleke is a party man. So where does he, does he align with the Wiki, Wiki camp or is he with the Atiku camp? I mean, for now, is, 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 I, I, I won't look at it as camp. Because, you know, in, in, in political party, in politics, there will always be tendencies. 
Once there is unity in a party, you should be scared. The party is not united. You must be, no party is united. APC is not united. Is Rotimah Mechi following Tinubu? Isn't he? He's not. They are not. Why they do you are, think yes, so? They are, they, um, look at Dogara. Look at Babachi. There's a, a political party that is a political party. There must always be crisis. That's why it's politics. Politicians generate crisis. But you can't compare this to what happened in the PDP. And this is, this is why PDP also lost at 2015 election. No, I don't well. see the PDP. Because there was, also, there was also an NPDP I don't in see, the PDP at no, the time. No, but then NPDP, they walked out and they went to APC and they decamped. Yes. But now they've not. Governor Wiki has never said don't vote for PDP. He has never said that. He's fighting for his he interest. He's not voting for article. He's fight, he, he, has never, he didn't say that. He said, the governor, I can guarantee this one, but he will not speak. But he cannot come out to say don't vote for article. It's not possible. When you have House of Assembly, you have House of Rep, so you will tell your people vote for this party and don't vote for this party. I, I you are creating confusion. Correct. No, you can't do that. Well, what's happening in, in your state? In your state? What yes. do you mean what's happening? I don't know what do you mean by that. Um, Shane McKinney is telling yes. them not to vote. I'm not, I mean, if you show me the video, I've not, I'm I'll, not, I'm I'll, not. I'll show you an article with that. He said that PDP, when it comes to state elections and other office, vote PDP. But when it comes to the presidency, presidency. don't vote Atiku. Vote Ashwaji. Oh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing this for the first time. I, I'll, I'll share it. I'll share it. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll be happy to see it. But as far as, as, far as your state is concerned, we are on one track. We believe in... In light, in light of all these factors, the internal wranglings, the fact that um, Atiku is a perpetual contester in the country, and you know, the fact that you know, um, Wiki is also having his own wranglings here and there. He has picked Okowa as a vice president. All of these factors. Do you think that PDP can win the presidential election? Yes, when you say Pompeo is a perpetual contestant, I don't understand what you mean by that. Because if you, read, if you see history, if you see history, how many times, how many times did Abraham Lincoln run for office? How many times he, did he run? How many times he ran several times, he lost several times, and he came back. Even President Muhammad is very... So when you say perpetual, that means you are saying that he shouldn't have grit. When somebody has grit... Doesn't say the fact that that's what he is. Well, when, when I, whether it's not negative or positive, you are looking at it from that angle. Well, I'm not looking at it from that angle. I'm looking at it from the point of view of grit, that right. I want this thing and I'm focused on it. So he shows that if he becomes the president, if he says he wants to achieve this thing, he won't give up easily. Mm. Ashiwadu also has grit. Ashiwadu has been in the game since 1991. Well, he hasn't contested. Well, he hasn't been contested. He has been, how many governors in Ashiwadu's class are still active now? How many of them still have a grip of their states? So he might not be contesting, but he's still actively... He's, I don't see any difference between him and Atiku. He has been in the game since 1991. A lot of his classmates don't even have control of their local so government what anymore. PDP chances? I beg your pardon? PDP chances for the next election. I mean, I wouldn't deceive myself. Ashiwaju is a tough nut to crack. He's a strategist. I tell people, if you are a pretty lady and you are not my friend, I can't change the fact that you are a pretty lady. If somebody is honest, even if you don't like him, you will say he's honest. So Ashiwaju is a fighter. What about Peter Obi? Well, Peter Obi is just starting. I don't see him making any, any solid impact. He's just growing his name, growing his populace. Growing so you don't think that he's going to be a threat to PDP? Well, he might take out of PDP's vote, but in terms you of... You don't see him emerging as the president? I don't see him emerging as the president. Presidency mm. is not a Tea Party affair. In 20, let me tell you a story. Maybe 2014 or 20, I can't remember the year in Osho State, um, there was a candidate for Labour Party and I liked him and I was like, maybe I should consider voting for so him. Is that, is that his... Um, Alaji Akimbadi, Fatah Akimbadi. Okay. And on the day of the election, he didn't have a polling agent in my unit. And mm. I said, well, you don't have a polling agent. I can't waste my vote. And I voted grudgingly for Senator Omishori because I didn't want to vote for Omishori at the time. Mm. So for you to run for presidency, you must have structure. Who are there people in my village? I don't, there's no Labour Party member in my village. Who are they? In my local government. Well, this, man is, this man is Labour Party National State. Um, last one you saw. Last one you saw. How many votes did he have? How many votes? Even I had more votes than him <laughs> for his governorship when I ran in 2019. So what are we saying? Presidency is not local government election. Presidency is, is for the big so, boys. So Peter is a complete write-off. He's a write-off. He's not in the game. As far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned. That will be all we can take today on the show today. It's been a fantastic discussion and a very cerebral one with um, Farouk Abbas. Um, we would like to bring you back here again. Anytime. Always sometime a pleasure. Sometime. We can continue this conversation. That's it. That's on our show today, please. Thank you. And see you same time next Saturday. God bless.